Sister Amelie from St. Joseph's Convent High School Champion Beef Stage Year. In this garden, we can see varieties of plants with different colors of flowers. Do you think it's possible to group these flowers according to their color? Yes, it is possible. Today, I am going to discuss with you an important chapter in 10th Standard Mathematics which involves all this collection, classification, analysis and representation of numerical data. I suppose you guessed it. Yes, it is statistics. Statistics has a wider range of applications in daily life. For example, number of views, likes for a particular video, population of a specific region, number of dresses you have in a particular color, number of people using particular type of mobile, number of students present and absent in a class, calculating percentage for marks scored in different subjects. All these are some of the applications of statistics in daily life. We have learned the classification of given data into ungrouped and grouped frequency distributions. Also to represent the data pictorially in the form of bar graphs, histograms and frequency polygons. In this chapter, we shall learn the measures of central tendencies, namely mean, median and mode. Let us enter into the mode of learning. Mean The mean or the average of the observations is the sum of the values of all the observations divided by the total number of observations. The formula for mean is given by mean is equals to sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi. Here is an example to find the mean. Let us find the mean number of plants per house for the following data. We'll use the direct method. We have to find the midpoint that is adding upper limit and lower limit and dividing it by 2. First draw the table. Number of plants that is the class interval a number of houses that is frequency class marks is xi and fi into xi the first class interval is 0 to 2 frequency is 1 so add 0 and 2 and divide it by 2 you get 1 1 into 1 is 1 now 2 to 4, now add 2 and 4 we get 6 divided by 2 is 3, 2 3's are 6. Third class interval is 4 to 6, here 4 plus 6 is 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5, 5 ones are 5. Now we have 6 and 8. Adding that we get 14, 14 divided by 2 is 7, 7 fives are 35. Next class interval is 8 to 10, 8 plus 10 we get 18, 18 divided by 2 we get 9, 9 fives are 54. Next class interval is 10 to 12, adding 10 and 12 we get 22 divided by 2 we get 11 11 2 sa 22 last we have 12 to 14 adding 12 and 14 we get 26 26 divided by 2 we get 13 13 3 sa 39 
Now sigma fi is 20 and sigma fi xi is 162. Now write the formula to find the mean. Sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi. Substitute the value 162 divided by 20. Simplifying, we get the answer 8.1 plants. Median Median is the measure of central tendency which gives the value of the middlemost observation in the data. First, we arrange the data values of the observations in ascending order. For ungrouped data, if n is odd, the median is the n plus 1 divided by tooth observation. If n is even, then the median will be average of the n by tooth and the n by 2 plus 1 observations. Median for grouped data is given by L plus n divided by 2 minus cumulative frequency divided by frequency into H. Here L is lower limit of the median class, N is number of observations, CF is cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class, F is frequency of the median class and H is class size. Let us now solve a problem. Find the median for the following distribution. We have class interval and frequency. N is 60. First, Along with class interval and frequency, we are going to add another column named cumulative frequency. This cumulative frequency is calculated by adding each frequency to the sum of its preceding cumulative frequency. First we write 5 as it is. Second 5 plus 8 we get 13. Now 13 plus 20 we get 33. And 33 plus 15 we get 48. Now 48 plus 7, 55. 55 plus 5 is 60. That is the total number of observation. Now we'll, we also find n by 2. That's in the formula. So if n is 60 our n by 2 will be 30. So the third class interval we observe the cumulative frequency is 33 that is the nearest value so that will be our median class. So the class interval of the median class is 22, 30. write the formula for median also write the values L is 20 H is 10 F is 20 cumulative frequency is 13 and divided by 2 is 30 now substituting these in the formula we get median is equals to 20 plus 30 minus 13 divided by 20 that's the frequency of the median class into h10 
So 0 and 0 gets cancelled. Okay, we have 20 plus 17 divided by 2. Simplifying we get 20 plus 8.5. Therefore median is 28.5. Mode. Mode is that value among the observations which occurs most often, that is, the value of the observation having the maximum frequency. We have learnt how to find the mode for ungrouped data. Here we shall discuss ways of obtaining mode for grouped data. In grouped frequency distributions, we can only locate a class with a maximum frequency called modal class. Mode is given by L plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H. Here L is lower limit of the modal class. H is size of class interval, F1 is frequency of the modal class, F0 is frequency of the class preceding the modal class and F2 is frequency of the class succeeding the modal class. Problem. The following data gives the information on the observed lifetime in hours of 225 electrical components. So lifetime is nothing but the class interval. And the number of components is the frequency. Determine the modal lifetime of the components. Here the highest frequency is 61, that is the modal class. 60 is the lower limit. 52 is F0. And 38 is F2. Now to solve. Let us write down the values and the formula will substitute the values in the formula. 61 minus 52 divided by 2 into 61 minus 52 minus 38 into 20. Let us simplify. We get 9 divided by 122 minus 90 into 20. Again simplifying we get 60 plus 5.625 and adding we get 65.625. Now let us learn how to draw cumulative frequency curves called OGIFs. There are two types, namely less than OGIF and more than OGIF. Here is a graph showing both the curves. The first one is less than OGIF, then we have more than OGIF. First, let us draw less than OGIF for the following cumulative frequency distribution. Here we write the class intervals in terms of less than the upper limit. It is less than 10, less than 20, less than 30, less than 40. Now we have to write the cumulative frequency. First we write the frequency 5 as it is. Next add 5 and 8 we get 13. Now 13 plus 12 we get 25. 
25 plus 15 we get 40. The values 10, 20, 30 and 40 are the upper limits of the respective class intervals. In the graph, we mark the upper limits on x-axis and their corresponding cumulative frequency on y-axis. Now marking the points we get 10 comma 5, 20 comma 13, 30 comma 25, 40 comma 40. Now joining these points we are going to get the less than ogive. We use this curve to find the median. We have another problem. The following distribution gives the daily income of 40 workers of a factory. Your income is nothing but the class interval. The number of workers is the frequency. What we have to do? Convert the distribution to a more than type of cumulative frequency distribution and draw its ogive. So we are going to draw more than ogive. Here class intervals are written in terms of more than the lower limit that is more than 100, more than 120, more than 140 and more than 160. Now we have to find the cumulative frequency. First we write the total number. From there we are going to minus the frequency values that is 40 minus 12 we get 28. 28 minus 14 we get 14 14 minus 8 we get 6 the values 100 120 140 and 160 are the lower limits of the respective class intervals in the graph we mark the lower limits on x-axis and their corresponding cumulative frequency on y-axis I'm marking the points 100 comma 40, 120 comma 28, 140 comma 114, 160 comma 6. Joining these points, we get the more than ogive. Now, using this curve also, we can find the median. Try to solve the following problems. First one, the following table gives the literacy rate of 35 cities find the mean median mode of the data and compare them we have literacy rate it's nothing but the class interval number of cities is the frequency Next we have draw less than and more than ogives for the following distribution. First we have marks obtained that is the class interval and number of students is the frequency. I suppose this video was very interesting and helpful to know little more about the central tendencies namely mean, median and mode. Also to draw less than and more than motives. There are problems that are given for you to work out. View these videos again and again and work out and get good marks in your SSLC examinations. Thank you.